Good morning, this is Jane. This is with Mundun Monday, I believe it's number 31. Did not get anything at the stores this week, and I did get a wonderful gift from our friend Terry. She got us the butter, and we are so happy. So since we didn't get a lot of things to show you from Mundun Monday, I just thought I'd go around the kitchen. I've done a little bit of rearranging and show you what I've done so far on displaying my Ray Dunn. This cupboard over here, uh, I have all my canisters and I put my pour over there because I actually have fresh flowers on my table from the farmer's market. And I did switch out the old scale. Uh, put the black one up and got the neat green one out. And up on top of those shelves, I do have three of my birdhouses along with some of my old uh, beer crocks that we've had for a long time and some of our other tins there. I'm going to go over here and John is going to be my assistant uh, because I want to show you how I have some of my Ray Dunn displayed in our cupboards. Say hello John. Hello John. <laughs> okay honey. I'm going to show the first one and then you can open up the next one after that. As you can see, we have went mug and bowl crazy, but that's because that's what you find the most of. And John can't stand it if it's a mug we don't have, so that's why we have so many of them. But we especially love the ones with the color in it, and I've been lucky to get quite a few of those. All right, baby, open up the next one. And in here, I do have a lot of my Valentine canisters and dishes and mugs are in this cupboard and then sitting on top of my love trays I do have those uh, adorable little vintage dogs that's uh, the salt and pepper shakers and then the little vintage figurine that matches it and then on the bottom shelf have some more of the mugs and a few bowls and I absolutely love that coffee mug with the black inside and that's one I will definitely use for Halloween And then on this other side, more mugs. There's the mugs with the kitties on them, and the plates are in there. And more bowls and some other little vintage pieces that we have and that we love. Okay, baby, you can shut the doors. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> And over here we have our good dog canister and our wonderful cookie jar with the crown lid that, that uh, uh, Terry sent us. And then I have one of the new canisters that I traded for. That's the only one of that series that I have. And there's an old scoop in my foodie bowl. And of course there's our treasured mug that our friend Teresa sent us from Canada. And there are my ovals and more bowls and then over here on this cupboard this is where um, we put the blue pokey dot uh, on the little cupboard that John built and of course our you are my sunshine which we love that Laura gave us then over here a real glare on that print but that's where our farmhouse sign is at and then there are some of our summer mugs with the color and there's our mixing bowls and another one of the birdhouses along with our treasured little pig cookie jar that we got at yard sales this summer and then there's my little ladder with the towel and the other old brass scale And then here on the table, I put out my new placemats. And there's those gorgeous flowers that we got uh, at the farmer's market. And it won't be long that I'll be trading out that red truck for my orange truck for Halloween. And I have a lot of old silver pieces in the little creamer there.
and there's my spoon, fork, and knife, and the bumblebee planter, and the new rest spoon rest, and then the spoon spoon rest. And there, of course, is the tools which we love. And this is life. This is dishes. And there's all of our daily things we have to have, our vitamins and all. If I don't have them out, we'll never remember to use them. And there's that uh, reproduction measuring tin that we got at Michael's on one of those cute little cupcake stands from Michael's. And this messages that came from our trip to Hobby Lobby. And then there is the other little measuring pitcher that we got from Michael's. And there are some more of our mugs. And I've been drinking out of the pineapple mug. I was drinking out of the flamingo. Now I'm transitioning over to the pineapple. Up here in these cupboards are a lot of our dog and cat bowls, which we do eat out of because they're great size. That's my cake right there, and then up there is the flamingo and the pineapple bowls. And there are the dog canisters. And in the slurp bowl, we actually keep our coffee filters. The coffee filters fit perfectly in the dog bowls. And then there's the drawer shelf that John made with some of our mugs. I change those out frequently. And there's the eat sign that came from Target. And there's my wonderful sign that Laura made me. And then right here are some more of the pet bowls. And John's got his pocket junk in the uh, trinket dish. And then he keeps his candy in the wolf canister, in the wolf bowl. <laughs> and there's the cat bowls. And the reason the cat bowls are on the counter is because if they were in the floor, the dog would clean them up entirely. I know some of you can understand that because dogs always love cat food for some reason. Well, I hope you all have had a wonderful week. Thank you so much for continuing to watch my channel. I'll be starting my Halloween and fall decorating soon, and I can't wait to share that with you. I know a lot of you are thinking, August, decorating for Halloween. But as I said before, I do so much. It takes a long time, and it's a lot going on in the month of August. So I figured I had better get started so that we can get it out and enjoy it. Have fun collecting. Hope you have great luck this week. Till the next time.